Hello, hello. Monday, fun day, uh, rainy day. Uh, oh well. We just did our raffle. Congrats again to our winner. They get a uh, cocktail mixer custom made for them this Friday. That's what we're doing all week. You can place orders on our website. Um, but I didn't get a chance to make a sherry cocktail yesterday. Sherry Sunday. Need to make sherry drinks because I'm getting excited about tomorrow, 5 p.m. on Zoom, pop up at home, link in our bio to get a ticket. We're going to talk all about sherry tomorrow. We're going to talk about sherry in terms of what the heck it is. We're going to talk about how to use it in cocktails, whether you're using a little bit, a lot of it, everything in between. We're going to talk about the flavors. We're going to talk about the different styles. It's going to be awesome. Um, so I thought make a sherry cocktail and a classic cocktail called the Dunlop cocktail, which I had played tennis as a kid and I was a big fan of Dunlop tennis balls. So I'm a little confused if there's a similarity. I don't think there is. I think it's just coincidence. But uh, the Dunlop cocktail is a classic that has uh, two parts rum to one part sherry and maybe some bitters. Um, there's no specification on what type of sherry to use um, or what type of rum to use. So it's all in the eye of the beholder and I'm going a little bit different. I'm going to do a Scotch Dunlop. I'm going to use this Glen Levitt Scotch that is aged in rum barrels. So you're actually going to get some of those rum characteristics, uh, but definitely going to be more of a Scotch cocktail. Really awesome balance there. And then for the sherry, um, I'm going to use this cream sherry. Now you're thinking, oh no, it's going to be way too sweet. Well, you're wrong. 75% uh, of this bottle is a dry sherry Oloroso, which is aged oxidatively. Um, so you get a cool, like nutty, uh, spiced and deliciousness. And then 25% is a sweeter sherry. So uh, what, what do you get in the glass? If I'm doing two ounces to one ounce, well, I'm basically getting two ounces of a nice dry scotch with hints of rum, three quarters of an ounce of a dry sherry, and then just a quarter ounce of sweetener. Um, it's gonna work out great. Uh, so one ounce of cream sherry, two ounces of the Glen Levitt Caribbean cask. Pretty excited about this. This actually showed up on my doorstep today. Thank you, uh, Drizzly. Thank you, uh, Jess, for getting it over to me. Appreciate that a lot. Delicious stuff. Um, and for the cocktail, we're just going to put one small dash of Ango because I don't think it needs too, too much. But the other flavors shine through. Quick stir. And then the only other difference between this and uh, the classic Dunlop um, is usually I, I see recipes that call for a lemon twist. I'm just gonna flame that, you know? I got scotch in the drink. Um, this scotch isn't very peat smoky forward, uh, but just kind of hinting at that a little bit with the burnt uh, lemon twist. And if you tuned into my uh, class last week on Zoom, you know all about how flaming a lemon twist really isn't so much about the smokiness as more of like caramelizing the lemon oils um, and adding a little bit of like intrigue. Warm up the lemon oils and just a little burst of flame. And there you go. Scotch Dunlop for you. And tune in tomorrow if you want to learn more about Sherry. Again, the link is in the bio. Cheers, guys. Ooh, that was good.